A fiery exchange took place between a teen worship leader and another church greeter at Swansboro United Methodist Church in North Carolina. A lot of talk going around on social media about this and what took place. This happened at the June 30 service when Jenna, a 19-year-old worship leader there at the church, was on hand to sing. And apparently no problems happened at the 9.45 a.m., worship service she went up there saying without any issue whatsoever however once her time was done when worship has ended she was apparently approached by the church greeter in the bathroom and told that she cannot wear shorts on the stage in fact the church greeter really really gave it to her good and even fat shamed her in the process and pointed out to another member of the worship team and said look at that chubby girl over there She's wearing a dress that's appropriate for her. She's wearing clothing appropriate that goes down to her knees, and you need to do the same exact thing. And that's when Jenna asked her, are you calling me fat? And the church greeter said, well, isn't it obvious? And then Jenna kind of put out some profanity against her and says, no, I effing love myself. The church greeter still went at her and said, you're not going back onto that stage unless you get out of those shorts and you change into something that's more appropriate. Jenna fired back again and said that she's 19 years old. This woman can't tell her what to do, that she has no right to talk to her that way. And then it kind of diffused itself after that. They went their separate ways. But I mean, what a mess this truly was. The pastor had to issue a statement about what took place saying they're trying to work through these issues. They said this is really no representation of what it means to be a Christian. Uh, and how the whole situation was just handled poorly on both ends, uh, you know, from, you know, the worship leader, you know, screaming and swearing at the other lady, uh, for the lady body shaming her and everything like that. Like that, look, that should have never, never happened. No, and I don't know for sure what the dress code is at this church. If there is a dress code, a certain dress code, then, you know what, everybody would be required uh, to adhere to that, no matter, you know, what your body type is, it wouldn't even matter, but there's no word on whether or not there is a dress code or not. Now, if there was, then I would think that, you know, Jenna wouldn't be able to go on to the worship stage actually wearing the shorts in the first place. If somebody would have said something to her prior, like as soon as she showed up to the church and said, uh, look, you know, you know our dress code rules here. You can't wear that. You're going to have to change it. We can't let you sing. But that didn't happen. So I'm kind of thinking that there really isn't a dress code and they're kind of free to dress however they want to. So, I mean, what an explosive situation here. You know, I I think it was kind of handled bad on both sides. You know, I don't think you should be body shaming people. uh, But, you know, Jenna fires back, you know, with some expletives there trying to defend herself. Um, Either way, kind of a weird situation, you know. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about what took place here? Let me know. Sound off down below. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider giving them a like and a share. Also subscribing here if you are new. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.